Space. The final frontier. Space. The thing that gives most people a... What's the word? Quintessential, indecential crisis? You know, it makes people feel fucking nuts. You think about it. We are a tiny little speck. Tiny, tiny, tiny. In a huge, vast ocean. Right now, you're sitting on a planet. You're sitting in a room. Right now, you're sitting in a room, you're watching your TV. In a country. Think about that. An entire country. That's where you are right now. On an entire planet. With people just like you, who speak hundreds of different languages, in hundreds of different climates, all over the world. You are on this planet that functions completely, uniquely and independently from the rest of the universe. We have a moon, which you have to travel into space to to get to, which controls the climate of our planet. Meteorites constantly strike our planet, putting our planet in danger. All the time, from different parts of the galaxy, in they come. One even wiped out an entire species on this planet. Then we had the Ice Age. Um, these are called uh, extinction level events. I think there's only been five in history. I only know two. Okay, actually no, I think there was a volcanic eruption. So we have the Ice Age, uh, the, I think there was a volcanic eruption, but I'm not 100% sure. There was, there was a volcanic eruption. Ice Age, volcanic eruption, the meteorite, and there's two more. Check them out. Check them out. Extinction level events. Now, humanity, now actually, there's something that's happening next year, I just remembered. Um, so next, not next year, so in a few years time, uh, the moon is going to wobble. There's like a, a lunar wobble that happens. And this lunar wobble causes uh, the ocean levels to rise. Ch uh, check it out, the lunar wobble. And we're going to have 10 years of the ocean level rising three times, uh, by three times the usual rate. For 10 years it's going to happen, and it's going to cause mass flooding all over the world. Hasn't happened for over 100,000 years. Check it out, Google it. I'm not making that shit up. But the government has even mentioned it. Hasn't even mentioned it. I'm not making it up. Look it up for yourself. I'm not going to spew out information I'm not 100% sure on. The point I'm getting at is... We are in a galaxy, in a solar system, the Milky Way, a galaxy, a universe, constantly expanding. Who knows what's out there? And we are this tiny, tiny, magical dot of life that somehow happened. That is you, your brain right now watching this video. That's you, on this tiny, 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 tiny little dot. Jesus. And we think, and we, our own lives, our own minds revolve around our own lives. It's crazy, right? And you're thinking, why the fuck am I getting hit with this deep bullshit before we even watch this video? Well, I just wanted you to know. That's what space is. Space is insane. The travel of space, the movement into space from humanity is one of the things I'm massively fascinated with, which you would have seen by some of the videos on this channel. And you know what? No one is doing that more on this planet than Elon Musk and his SpaceX program where he's trying to launch. He's doing launches to the moon, uh, to the uh, International Space Station, and plans to have habitats on Mars, as well as a hotel on the moon. We've seen Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos doing the same recently, but what I thought would be cool is to check out some of this stuff. So. Let's check out a launch by Elon Musk's SpaceX test flight. So let's jump straight into that shit. Oh, before we do, hit that like button, subscribe if you want more. And now, let's jump straight into the video. SpaceX is fucking heavy, we go for launch. Here we go. 20 seconds to lift up, baby. Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy is configured for flight. E minus 15, stand by for terminal count. This is a three year old video, they've done loads of launches and since this, but this was nine, a monumental eight, Side booster ignition. Six, five, Here we go. four, Three, two, one. Oh, it's heavy. This is nuts. This is nuts. The sheer amount of fuel needed to power on these things is the main reason they're so bloody expensive. <clears throat> it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. When you think about how much less your plane needs to get off. 30 seconds, if you can hear me over the cheering. Falcon Heavy heading to space on our test flight. It's that Building on the history of the Saturn V Apollo. And I love the boost. The boost is fucking insane. And they land in there. We're getting ready to throttle down to a max Q. Because the boosters alone cost like 3 million or something, and by saving them, you're saving tons of money. <laughs> 10 kilometers high. This is awesome! This is awesome! Vehicle I fucking love this. You've heard the call out, vehicle is supersonic. <laughs> I love the way people are going nuts as well. Like the fucking crowd is going insane. 
the side boosters are now throttling back up to yep, full power. Reach maximum dynamic pressure. We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up, we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation right. two and a half minutes into flight. Look at that beautiful flat up. 3,000 dollars an hour. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. This is amazing. Change in the Reports show that the oh. M1D engine performance oh. is oh. nominal. Contact engine sales begun. That? Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. 20 seconds. This is awesome. If you like this video and you want to see more of this, I'd like to check out the uh, Richard Branson and uh, Jeff Bezos videos as well. So leave some likes. Major event leave, coming leave up with side booster down. shutdown and separation. If you've got any cool space videos as well, let me know. And there's the decouple. <laughs> And the automatic is going back down to uh, that's where it keeps going. God damn, it's so awesome! So awesome. It's the booster baseball exciter. It's so awesome. Successful separation. We're coming up on it's Nico so cool. and shutdown. There we go. Deployment, I believe that's a satellite deployment. Anything I say, don't take it as gospel. I don't know this stuff that well. Um, so, you know, because every now and then I, I post a video and people are like, God, fuck, separate. man, that's not actually, that's, that's not what that's used for. That's used for this and that and that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Clearly, you are Mr. Scientist, man. I'm not, no, I'm just guessing here. Did you do this one? Uh, I can't keep playing it for copyright reasons. Um, the audio of the video might be cut out right about now, just because they're currently playing Space Man by, uh, I believe it's David Bowie. And there you go, the classic Tesla deployment. Imagine being so damn rich that you create a car, right? You create a car. And then not only do you create that car, you create a fucking space agency. And then you put that car in a fucking space shuttle and send that fucking car to space to orbit around the damn planet that you live on. Jesus Christ. Imagine being that level of fucking rich. Imagine, right, right now, you and me, we are the same as Elon Musk. We are human beings. One of us got to that level where he sent a fucking car into space. Right now, you look up, there's a car orbiting around this planet. And an individual just like you and me did that. Created the car, created the rocket, sent it to fucking space. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm going to end it there. The video is quite long. Uh, if you want to check out the full video, um, you can just check it out on SpaceX's channel. Uh, yeah, I love this sort of stuff. If you've got any ideas, you want me to react to any space sort of stuff, leave it down below and I will definitely check it out because it's fucking awesome. Anyway, thank you very much for making it to the end. Please leave a like, please subscribe. And as always, you see me in the next